This morning, Aduro had a press release about the R2 for plastic. So I'm going to read some of the things. The R2 plastic unit is in the final assembly phase. Plans for testing, commissioning, certification are finalized and expected to be completed by mid-November 2022. So right now we are in October. So we're talking four, five weeks, and they're going to be done with R2. This is a huge deal, uh, and I'm going to talk about this more, but let me read some other things from the press release. The R2 plastic unit is the company customer engagement unit and is de designed to handle various plastic feedstock, such as, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, polyethylene, polypropylene, I guess I am trying to pronounce it, polystyrene as a single stream materials followed by a mixture of feedstock uh, streams. The R2 plastic will also be used to evaluate the impact of materials found in multi-layer plastics such as paper, paperboard, polymeric materials, uh, metallized layers, or aluminum foil effectively advancing Aduro's uh, plans of processing higher contaminating materials which are currently being rejected by existing technologies. That's a big deal. Uh, uh, the con contamination is a big deal. Uh, being able to, uh, uh, you know, to, to process the kind of material that nobody else can. Uh, this is important data that will support the company's established scale-up and optimization program for the pre-commercial pilot R3 Plastic. The R3 Plastic unit is a continuous flow reactor with a targeted throughput of 2,000 kilograms per day. Preliminary design and materials and component scoping of the units have been started with a plan to commission the unit before the end of 2023. Aduro is also working on measures to secure and maximize non-dilutive sources of funding to support its roadmap to com commercialization. I suspect that they are talking about non-dilutive sources of funding, maybe some kind of grants, um, so not equity, but grants. I mean, a project like this, you know, green project, uh, there's... I suspect there's a lot of money that can be, you know, uh, obtained through grants because this is such a big deal. So, so you can read the, the whole thing, but R2 is a big deal. That's what I'm waiting for because um, Aduro is a non-revenue investment idea, right? They don't have revenues yet. And usually I don't get involved in companies don't have, that don't have revenues but this R2 is a big deal because what's going to make Aduro move the stock price and get more awareness is customer engagement. Uh, various press releases, so-and-so is engaging with Aduro to do this, this, or that, right? And up to now, they have already been in discussions, but R2 is a... Is a is a is like a pilot on a continuous basis where before it was just you know a batch system and it was a promises hey we're going to be able to do this this and this for you and this is going to be able to uh you know show it on a continuous basis and this is going to be the start of exciting things for us as shareholders, because they're going to be able to engage with customers, and hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll be able to press release some of the engagements, and that's when, if if the engagements are with, you know, significant parties, that's when the market is going to wake up and realize, wow, Aduro truly has the plastic recycling solution. Because look, this company is engaging them. This company signed up with them. And, you know, R2 is what I originally said I'm waiting for and I want it myself 
to have the shares already before they finish R2 because I was confident based on my re research that the R2 for plastic was going to work because they already built uh, R2 for uh, for oil and and it's very very similar uh, with just minor adjustments and so so I personally wanted to have my position before R2 is finished. And now based on this press release, they're going to finish it by mid-November. And I think they're going to meet this deadline because, I mean, this is just, you know, four or five weeks away. So they have more visibility. So anyway, so this is it for this video. I'm very happy to, to see this press release. I'm very happy to see the progress and hopefully us as investors, we're going to see some kind of movement, some kind of, you know, public engagement and, uh, and you know, the pathway towards uh, commercialization. So anyway, that's it for this video and thanks for watching.